Okay, so this question is about brain aneurysms and what we see. Uh, I'm going to assume that you mean somebody who's found down, who doesn't have a history of going to the ER and getting a CT scan, MRI, and having it recorded in the medical record. So in other words, a case where the body is brought to me and then I discover a brain hemorrhage. So first of all, to be clear for everyone watching, an aneurysm is an outpouching usually of a blood vessel that can occur in the thoracic aorta, it can occur in the abdominal aorta, it can occur really any artery in the body. Uh, in the brain, however, these are particularly dangerous because once they rupture, you have very little time before you can get neurosurgical intervention and survive. So when we talk about brain aneurysms, we're usually talking about aneurysms of what's called the circle of Willis. Now this is a depiction of the circle of Willis. If you want to pause that and have a look at those blood vessels, those are the vessels on the bottom of the brain. Now from those vessels, of course, those can go deeper into the brain, branches of the uh, anterior cranial artery, the middle cranial artery, posterior cranial artery, so you could go on and on. Any area of that could have an aneurysm, but if we're going to talk about the circle of Willis, that's probably the most common area where those little outpouchings occur. So in terms of what I see at autopsy, this is technically what's called a subarachnoid hemorrhage. So basically when the vessel ruptures, when the aneurysm ruptures, the blood spurts out at uh, you know high pressure because it's arterial pressure. And this can cause death rapidly. Um, over 50% of subarachnoid hemorrhages um, do not survive. So in terms of the aneurysm, they can be repaired if they're caught early, especially you know, we do interventional uh, radiology procedures and, and correct those. But at autopsy, if they don't make it, what I see is a um, blood clot at the base of the brain. So this would encompass all that area of the circle of Willis that I showed you. And then what we do is we usually take a little water and we rinse that blood clot away and then we study the vessels closely to look for the aneurysm. And this is what that would look like. So if you see that, you can compare that to the depiction, uh, the drawing that I showed you. And you can see that circular or spherical area, that outpouching, that is what's called a saccular aneurysm. So when we find these, it's, it's very important to communicate to the family uh, that a, these are called berry aneurysms because they look like berries, uh, were fa was found because they can in some cases be hereditary. Not always, but sometimes. So if you have somebody who has a berry aneurysm and dies from it, then their siblings or their children might want to get uh, follow up with a doctor to check and make sure that they don't have a berry aneurysm. So I hope this helps uh, answer your question.